card. So this is the actual software um, that is supplied by the manufacturer of the rail. This software then communicates uh, with the uh, actual hardware which is the rail uh, with the controller and then there are rail movements. So in this you have a lot of options. So main things are all here. So when I am doing any uh, stack, so I have to go through all these options, make sure, make test runs to uh, see that the options are working. Uh, if there are any problems, then I have to come back and uh, recheck my options. So main thing that is there is this step length. So this step length is the one that I'm saying about when I write on my photos, if it is uh, 88 UM or uh, 124 um or 25 um so right now this step length is set as 10 mm which is fast so you have the rail has two main options one is fast movement and one is slow movement so i'll just demonstrate what is that uh, very quick and uh, the other thing that mainly people don't know what happens in stacking is uh, it's not just uh, in automation that your rail will just move, take a photo, move, take a photo, move, take a photo. It is not going to happen like that. Uh, the main problem is uh, is how the rail is moving and that is why you have all these other options here. Uh, don't mind all the spelling mistakes because uh, they are all translated from Chinese so I'll just show you the original software looks like this uh, but they have made uh, English translation for all international users so uh, you have options like this so the first one is shutter waiting time so this is uh, when the rail moves when I start the stack, so the rail will wait for 5 seconds then the shutter will be triggered and I can tell the controller how many times I want the shutter to be triggered so right now it is kept as 1 but it can be anywhere from 1 to 9 is what the software is saying so with 9, so uh, the rail will move in 1 10 millimeter increment then take 9 photos then wait for 5 seconds then move 10 millimeter in the next step and uh, now you can start to imagine that how much time it takes to do a simple stack so um, the way the photo is taken is uh, and once I say once I set up everything here and I say run the rail will first wait for 5 seconds after 5 seconds uh, the software will trigger the controller to take a photo so one photo will be taken after the photo is taken uh, to uh, to negate any vibration or anything the rail will again wait for 5 seconds here then the rail will move in the next 10 millimeter step and again it will wait for 5 seconds and then it will take the shutter then it will take the exposure so with this you can start to imagine that how uh, the how consuming time consuming the process is uh, it depends on how your what level of what result you want if you want the best details the finest details then you will have to really set and decide what is that now uh, I'll just demonstrate so with this 10 millimeter set uh, how the rail moves so that the camera is already pointing to the rail so if I just do a forward motion the rail moves is continuously moving till the point I keep this button press which is the forward and backward will be just go back but this is in 10 millimeter fast position uh, the, the people that you see that who do stacking nobody will keep this number here they will always be on your um1 so the main thing is that when i say that the photo is taken with the 88 um depth so which is this one the step length so when i put this 88 so 88 is usually uh, when my camera is set at 
f4 and it is at 4x magnification round about as per the MPE manual it says that your depth is 0.088 mm per photo so that is where you have to set the step length and save now when I do the forward motion you will understand how slow the camera will actually move so I will just click here and you can observe how the rail is moving now so you saw that the rail was moving but you barely noticed that it was moving and here when it says a step forward it will just take one step of 88 um so 0 0.088 mm uh, will be the distance that it will travel when I say the step forward so I just click this and you can see the rail movement that's it so with this movement it will take one photo then wait for five seconds then move then wait for five seconds take a photo wait for five seconds then move then wait for five seconds take a photo then move this is the actual time consuming process that goes on when you are doing stacking. So all those who just see results on Facebook, uh, this uh, behind the scenes was never talked about much and if it was talked about it's just by people who are uh, maybe outside of India and uh, they know the market there so people there know what stacking is but specifically in India. Um, I don't think that anybody has done at this scale and this level. Uh, I have tried to check with uh, the manufacturer of V Macro that if they have at any point of time given uh, the rail to people uh, in India, if they received any orders in India and they have said that uh, this is the first time they are giving the rail uh, to an Indian customer. So hopefully I think this is the first setup that I can uh, think that it is the first time that I'm seeing I have in India and I have not seen other people use it in India because now you can imagine the level of patience time and everything that you have to put through and uh, just to take one photo I hope that now you have understood um, what goes on when I say that I have done a stack uh, and uh, the common myth that all people have is that automation rail uh, photography is mundane it does not involve any creative process it does not involve uh, any uh, effort but now after showing you the level of effort that I have to take before I do the stack is more than uh, just setting up a manual rail and taking photos because uh, I have to not only decide my step length as per the manual but pre-run it, check whether that is running good or not. I have to check my lighting. If my lighting is proper on the subject, I have to check if my stack, pre-stack is sharp. I have to check that uh, during my stack there is absolutely no vibration that is happening and I have to also check that the subject itself is pleasing. I hope that with this part uh, you may have understood what really goes on behind when taking a, a, a photo, a stacked photo. So it's not only just taking images with a certain depth map, uh, map. There are a lot of things that go behind the scenes when you are doing um, a photography like this and it requires your time, it requires your patience and it requires a lot of effort than just um, doing everything on a manual way. So in the next part I am going to show you the same thing but with the video where um, I am going to show you from my ATD what the ATD is seeing and how the subject you can see when uh, the steps have been taken how the uh, subject depth changes after you uh, change your step length. So that will be the next part in the video.